Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Alright guys, so one of the questions I get asked a lot is, um, can you take your images from CF Spark? and bring those images into Playground AI and just upscale the image from Creative Fabrica Spark without changing the look of the image to a different look. And the answer is yes, you can. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So here I am inside CF Spark. This is my CF Spark page of the images that I've generated. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on one of the images And then I'm going to download it. And I'm going to download this image to my computer. So it's going to come in a zip file. We're going to extract it. And you're just going to save it somewhere on your computer. So now I have placed that on my computer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the prompt that I'm using. And now I'm going to go into Playground AI. So this is your PlaygroundAI.com. And I'm going to go to Create. I'm going to take that prompt and I'm going to paste that prompt right into the prompt field here on the left hand side. Once you paste the prompt in, we're going to go and we're going to get a copy of that image that we also downloaded. So we're going to move this down and we're not going to add a filter or anything. We're just going to come down here on the very bottom left and click on this little plus sign. And we're going to go and grab the image wherever you placed it on your computer. So mine is in my downloads. right here so we're going to open that and we're going to go ahead and put that in the image to image now if you want this image to look exactly like the image from CF spark but you just want to make you know upscale it then you want to move this image strength to over as high as you can um, I'm going to leave mine at 76 and I'm going to leave everything else here the same. On the model side, on the right side, I'm using Stable Diffusion 1.5. I'm going to leave the image dimensions at 512 and 512. My prompt guidance is currently at a 7. And my quality and details is at a 50. Now, <clears throat> if you have the free version, you may not be able to change some of these things that I can change. Um, and then... I'm going to only generate one image just to see what it's going to look like. And I'm going to leave my session private so that others can't see my work. And at that point, I'm going to click on generate. And you see it's the same image from CF Spark. Okay. So that is one way that you can bring those images in from CF Spark and just work with that image without generating a totally different new image. And then you can just click on it and then upscale it. And also if you want to do the face restoration, you'll just click on the little smiley face icon here. And that's going to give your face a, cr a cleaner, crisper look. So that is how you can bring an image from CF Spark and perfect that, that initial image. If you wanted to bring the image in 
from CF Spark, but you wanted it to be similar, but not exactly the same, then you can still bring that image and the prompt in as motivation. Um, and then when you click on generate, it's going to give you an image in that likeness, but not the same. And I took my image strength down to a 27. Okay. So this is the image from CF Spark, but I'm not trying to do a like for like. I'm doing a likeness in the likeness of. Okay. So if you look at it and you're like, no, I want it a little bit better than that. I'm going to bring it up to a 39 and click generate again. And you're going to see that it's going to start looking more, a little bit more like closer to this. And that's because we're changing that number. The higher you go in number, the closer this image is going to look like that image that you have brought into Playground AI. Okay. Now, when you want to get really away from this look on the left that you brought into Playground AI and you want to start, you know, getting a different feel, you can come here to your filter and you can start using some of these out here. So if I click on Retro Anime and then Generate, You're going to get a different look here of the image on the left. So that's what your retro anime will look like. And you still have the ability to come here and upscale and do face restoration and all that good stuff on those images as well. So now we're upscaling. Now we're going to close that. And we're going to do face restoration. And there you have it. Then you can download that and use it however you so choose. Or if you wanted to do that with the image that has a close likeness. Or if you want to do it with the image that is complete the same. Then you still have the ability to come here and download that image as well. So that is how you can bring an image into from CF Spark to Playground AI. You just want to make sure in the bottom left corner where your image that you're going to download from CF Spark, you want to make sure that that image strength is set at at least 60 or higher. Okay. And you'll know because your results are going to tell you whether or not you need to change that image strength and bring it higher. Now, I'm not sure how much higher you can bring it on the free side of playground ai um but i have the paid version so i can take mine up quite quite a bit so you can see i have it at 60 now and i still have on that retro anime okay so that's what it will look like and the good thing guys is that if there's something you don't like about that image don't forget that here on the left hand side you can use this area here that says remove from image. All you have to do is turn your radio dial on there and then just type in what you don't want to see. So if there was like an extra leg or an extra arm, anything like that, blurry face, blurry eyes, then you can remove that. Okay. All right. So I hope that answers your questions about how you can bring an image from CF Spark and use a likeness for likeness instead of having to change the look and feel of it but kind of play around with both um, where you can create a completely different image and also where you can create one in its likeness because the more you play around with it, then you'll get a feel for what you can and can't do. And then once you figure out what works best for you, then you can increase the number of images. So if I got here and I said, you know, I really like this one, I'm going to do an image for image. Now I can increase this to four so that I can get four different images in that um, likeness but play around with one and i would highly recommend playing around with one if you have the free version so you don't use up all of your access really quickly um <clears throat> and you know go from there okay all right guys that's my story i'm sticking to it if you're currently following me on my facebook group i want to thank you guys so much for following me on facebook 
Um, my group's name is Ken Dorsey's Curriculum and Creative Crafters. It will be in the description of this tutorial. You'll be able to click on that and come directly to my group and make a request to join if you like. And if you're currently following me or subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that you show via my YouTube channel. And if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, love to have you, then please feel free to like, share, and subscribe as well. All right. And so here are the four images that we just generated using that retro anime. And so you can see there's going to be something different about each image. If you look at the necklace here, it's completely different than that one. All of the necklaces are completely different. This one, she has something on the forehead. And so you'll notice something different about each image when you do the four. But there's no reason to do a likeness for likeness and generate four images. It, it's useless. Okay. All right, guys, that's my score. I'm sticking to it. And you know, my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have an amazing day. Bye.